Zinnia is beautiful. $19.99. Seems reasonable. That one. Mums. It's really pretty. Got pumpkins already. It's got kind of a goopy top. Oh wow. Ornamental peppers. Little baby nubbins there. Hey look, a cure has a mineral sunscreen. They didn't have this the day I reviewed it for you guys in Target, at least. It's SPF 30, uh, it's just zinc oxide. Is it non-nano size zinc? I don't think it specifies. Anyways, it has niacinamide in it, which is really great, honestly, in moisturizers and sunscreens. It's anti-inflammatory, soothing for redness. Some people can be irritated by it. This has coconut oil in it, though. As I said in my uh, coconut oil video, that can, that can trigger some people's acne. I've never had an issue with it. This has a uh, blue tansy oil in it, though, which is, for all intents and purposes, a fragrance. I mean, it's a flower oil, so it's likely going to have the compounds geraniol or potentially even uh, limonene or citronellol. So I wish they didn't put that in there, but otherwise it might be okay. It's SPF 30. Um, it's kind of a tiny tube for $18.99. The Pacifica SPF 30 Mineral Face Shade is a uh, a zinc titanium dioxide mineral sunscreen and it is vegan and cruelty free as well like the other one this one is um spf 30 again it's water resistant it uh doesn't appear to have fragrance but again it's got coconut oil in it oh wait never mind it has orange fruit water in it so you're gonna run run into some potential irritation there if any of you guys had these spicy nacho dips by The Honest Stand, they're vegan. I bet that's pretty good. There's a it's not really a... from Austin. They need to make a better label. <laughs> Mysterious. Happy Sunday! My mom is you're looking at Oh, I love to get this little magazine. <laughs> yeah, she pointed out that there is a uh, pet retirement facility. You can put your senior pet house. in senior living. Yes, they offer um, water, oh, environmentally friendly water-based cremation. I'm not sure what that is. And then this is a funeral service for your pet. Well, that can be very healing, yeah. I think it can bring yeah. closure for a lot of people. Yeah. Speaking of pet, there's a pretty golden retriever out there. It's difficult to lose a pet. He is hot. Oh, he's cute. He's too hot, he says. He's too hot. <laughs> what did you get this morning? Um. I went way out of the box and got all fruit, uh -huh. except this is Hearts of Palm. Oh, I love Hearts of Palm. There's a lot of mango. They have this mango cucumber salad that's really good. Um, and I did get the um, cauliflower escabeche again, because I really like that. Yeah, let me see that. And some of the garbanzos. Yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah, the green garbanzos. It's down in here. This stuff is yummy. Oh, there. Yeah, it's kind of buried down there, but it's really good. It's got turmeric on it or something? Yeah, I don't know what what makes it curry, but it's good. I just did um, cauliflower and oatmeal. Like I like to mix them together, the rice cauliflower and the oatmeal, and then I just did cinnamon, and there are a few pecans buried in there as well. I've really been on an oatmeal thing lately. I didn't get a chance to say happy Sunday everybody. I'm so busy thinking about my breakfast. Hi <laughs> Bee. 
Aww. <laughs> Say hey, everybody. You just love your Auntie Dre. Say hey, everybody. Oh no, the blue ball game. <laughs> Again? What are you watching there, Tybee? My cartoons, but now I want to play. Now I want to play with my ball. Now that I've got a captive audience. Why do you have to get it so slimy before you hand it over? That's part of the fun. <laughs> this chewy bone is there. Hey, come here, Todd. Come here. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Downward dog. Yes, we all know you're a yoga, a yoga man. Come Yogi. Yeah, come here, mister. Let's go. Come on. Aw, that's cute how he lifts his paw up to let you put his harness on. We're here at the Houston Arboretum. My mom is pointing out these pretty passion flowers. We used to have one of those. What is that green ball over there? Any kind of a fruit? Bees. I don't know what that is, but it's really interesting. Yeah. Oh, we barely got out of the car and we've already seen all this. Hi, Candy. Peaceful pond. It's nice and cool in here. Yeah, this is neat. It's I'm thinking it might be too hot, but it's pleasant. We went on a nice walk out there in uh, Sugarland that time, oh, and that, that was fun. place I was kind of like this. Wanting to go back. Yeah, to that place. I'll have to go back in the vlog history and figure out when exactly it was that we went because that was a good temperature and time of the year that yeah, we went. I'm sure it was sometime in October. In yeah. Yeah, this does look like candy. Possibly, yeah. Scouts and Clemson used to have to build a bridge, and this kid just went to Home Depot and bought a bench. <laughs> <laughs> they had to build a bridge? Yeah, remember they used to build those bridges in the nature of park? Yeah, that's right. That's where you had that bridging ceremony? Yeah, they built that, the Eagle, Eagle, Scout, Eagle Scouts? Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that was when we had to walk over the bridge yeah. to our... It's kind of neat. I enjoy it. It's sort of bittersweet. Yeah. Is that shortly after we had to have the period talk, after we crossed the bridge? <laughs> Why? <laughs> that was... Stressful. <laughs> yeah, in Girl Scouts, we had this day where one of our troop meetings was dedicated to learning about... 
coming is a little bit. <laughs> lady days. And it was the most anxiety provoking thing for yours truly. I was just humiliated because, I don't know, you're at that age where everything is awkward and then your mom is there. <laughs> I was embarrassed. Get yeah, that would not be that would not be good. Remember when we planted trees in Girl Scouts? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, that was Mm hmm Yeah, when I went back and visited a few years ago, they were still there. And they were they were much bigger than they were when we planted them. Planting a tree. A tiny little it starts as just a tiny little stick in the ground. And then you come back so many years later. That was kind of cool. I know, because you think, this thing is, how can it survive? Look at this. Obviously made it through Hurricane Harvey. Yeah. Yeah, I was telling them in the vlogs the other day that uh, it's the, um, kind of, it was the, anniversary of Harvey and then that reminded me when I was editing the footage that it's soon to be your vegan anniversary because when we were um, when you came and stayed with me during Harvey because we were afraid your apartment might flood you we watched on Netflix what the hell and granted that documentary is a tad on the bias side I would say but I I was already vegan at that point and my mom was more than accepting of me being vegan, but after she watched that, she's like, that's it, I'm going vegan too. And I was like, what? I mean, I didn't pressure her or anything. <laughs> that was uh, one of the easiest and happiest decisions I've ever made. Yeah. Um, you know, I miss certain things, but I don't, I feel a lot better and I have more energy. Yeah, so it's so two I've years. Got, you've got a little critter attached to you, look. Some kind of a little moth. It's because I'm wearing bright colors, maybe. Yeah, it could be. He thinks you're a flower. This is good mosquito repellent. It's bright yellow shirt. You know, if you're ever somewhere where there are a lot of mosquitoes, don't wear black. They're attracted to that. That's why uh, Southerners are ahead of things with their Lily Pulitzer garb. It wards off mosquitoes. What is that? It's a stink. Stink horn. Stink oh, it's a type of fungus. Fungi. Oh, I'd like to see that. Let's see if we can't find it. But Here's let's, the... let's not find him. No. <laughs> Beautyberry. Oh, how cute. They're beautiful. American Beautyberry. Oh, I do not want to run into him. He's one, these are one of my favorite birds. The tufts are too nice. Aren't they cute? Yeah. Trumpet vine? Uh -huh. You like cardinals. I do. I They're love pretty. Cardinals. Yeah, I've seen them around quite a bit. I kind of. I'm becoming more fond of blue jays. <laughs> wow. 1944, and now this is 2017. Look at all the sprawl. Or growth, I should say. <laughs> Yeah, the beauty berry. I really like that. I do too. Oh, I like
like these red flowers too. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah, that's the trumpet vine. Trumpet vine. Hummingbirds love that. I wonder if that's hard to grow. Look at these weird bugs. I wish that other one would come back up. Water lily. Mushrooms. Coolie bar for the caterpillar. <laughs> what's up I am back and I just got out of the shower and I got an order in the mail of a new laundry detergent I wanted to share with you guys I love this um, Arm & Hammer sensitive skin uh, you guys asked me a fair amount about laundry detergent recommendations and this is a great one I um, started using this uh, a few years ago actually it uh, is free of dyes and fragrance and so if you have eczema this is a really good choice this or Tide free and clear and another one that I really love, and it comes in this cute tin, you can get it on iHerb, it's from Canada, and it is Leaping Bunny certified. It's the Nellie's Laundry. This one's really good. My mom uses this as well, and she loves it. Um, so they're both great. You know, they both get out stains and whatnot, but fragrance and laundry detergents can really be an issue for for people with eczema, or really just anyone in general, can really irritate the skin. Also, um, a lot of laundry detergents have dyes in them, like blue dyes, uh, can really aggravate a lot of people's eczema and dry skin, even can be irritated by, by laundry detergents. Laundry detergent is a common, actual precipitant of just kind of diffuse itchy rash, dry skin, uh, you know, a new laundry detergent sometimes is the culprit. Uh, they can be irritating. So always choose one that is free of dyes and fragrance. That's hard because we all like things to smell nice, uh, but I totally recommend skipping fragrance in your laundry detergent. You get used to your clothes just smelling boring um, after a while uh, so yeah I recommend that uh, and you know dyes are also obviously in your clothing right I mean most fabrics are dyed and that too can be a problem for people with eczema personally I know I have uh, flares of my eczema with a lot of blue dyes in denim so a tip for you guys always is to uh, wash your clothes when you first buy them uh, because that first first cold rinse will you know get some of the the dye sort of out um, and make it easier on your skin. I say that, but I almost never do it. I'm the worst. I will I will wear clothes straight off of the rack, straight out of the packaging or whatever, and not wash them beforehand. I am the worst about that, but it is a tip. Um, so yeah, it's a little laundry tip for you guys, uh, but I definitely recommend avoiding. Avoiding fragrance not only leave on skincare products, but your laundry detergents. 
Uh, so uh, <laughs> with that tip, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs this weekend. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.